Uh, next, uh, we proceed to exercise stress test. Mm. Actually, what is exercise stress test? We need uh, to measure some uh, person's performance in a control condition. So uh, we, uh, to make the measurement, uh, we need to, uh, some uh, exercise that is also measured. That's why we cannot just tell a person, okay, run back and forth for five minutes. It's, yeah, it's, sometimes it's possible, but it's not our uh, goal. We usually use some treadmill or uh, bicycle uh, before, because they are graded. You need exactly what uh, the exercise at the moment. And we need some um, feedback. And usually this uh, ECG, uh, normally 12 lead ECG to see what's happening with the person. Uh, if you ask what uh, bikes or treadmills are supported by the system, I can tell you that uh, a lot of. Uh, basically, we usually love arrival, uh, load uh, the bicycle, and uh, again, load the uh, uh, treadmills. But uh, if you get in mind different uh, system, uh, uh, the chances are very high that if this is some mainstream um, manufacturer of a bicycle or a treadmill, that we have uh, the correct protocol to support this system. If not, uh, we can talk about this later and maybe solve this problem in a couple of days. Uh, the main purpose of exercise stress test, and every clinician know this purpose, that this is uh, ischemia diagnosis. Because uh, electrocardiogram uh, shows some specific change uh, during ischemia, when the uh, heart lacks of uh, oxygen for uh, its own consumption. And uh, this is not a good situation, and uh, it's usually uh, uh, chest pain, and uh, it leads to some operation, uh, surgery in the future, and uh, may lead to a uh, heart attack and even death. So we need to diagnose this. And uh, also, we uh, can use uh, this ECG for risk prediction if a person has uh, known uh, ischemia. But the second uh, portion, uh, we can use uh, exercise stress test in simple exercise stress test uh, also for some performance and fitness test. Uh, and here I'm not trying to compete with uh, uh, Dear Thomas with his CPAD system. And you will hear uh, a lot about CPAD uh, a little bit later. But uh, this picture can get you a um, hint What's the difference? If I want some exact measures of a person's performance, say like uh, maximum oxygen uptake, I need CPAP. But if I want uh, some cheaper solution to compare which person better, uh, which person more fit or less fit, uh, uh, test a group of people or perform some follow up, uh, maybe on daily, weekly basis. Uh, it's sufficient to use some uh, simple exercise stress test. And in this case, what I get, I get cheaper uh, solution. I, uh, sometimes I can perform uh, faster testing, so um, invest less time to this procedure and get a reliable result. As uh, Nikolai Smirnov underlined, our device is wireless. And for just simple ECG, maybe it's not so obvious why you should have this uh, wireless stuff. But when you perform exercise stress testing, especially treadmill, a person needs some uh, freedom. Uh, because if you are connected to a PC and your movement can lead to uh, detaching the device from the PC or some falls uh, or errors in uh, equipment uh, performance. And uh, it is also it is important from the safety point of view because uh, this uh, device has its own uh, two batteries and it's safe for patients because it's not connected to uh, any source of potential uh, electrical leakage from the uh, mains. And uh, uh, this wireless thing is very important if something happens. Exercise stress testing is not uh, just a relaxed procedure. It may be dangerous and uh, people can um, 
fall, people can have a heart attack and so on, and they can need uh, some uh, emergency help. And you can continue monitor ECG uh, while performing these emergency measures, just moving a person around the room, uh, performing some CPR, etc. Et and uh, you see uh, ECG and you uh, continue to control the procedure. Uh, some of the functions of the, to highlight uh, what's interesting in the software, uh, for sure we have a lot of uh, preset exercise protocols, uh, most um, used like RAMP protocols for treadmill, for cycle ergometer. Uh, we have for sure multi-stage tests for cycle ergometer and Bruce protocol and modified Bruce for treadmill. That's most uh, important thing. Uh, but important feature that we can um, we have special editor uh, and the user uh, with your help or by themselves they can uh, set up different exercise protocols save it in the memory and reuse as uh, long as they want uh, even copy to another PC and uh, they may be with a fixed exercise ramp exercise and important that they uh, 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 it may be a um, staged protocol uh, with the stage calculated according to a person's age, weight, and sex. Why it is important? In two uh, cases, uh, when you deal with some athletes and when you deal with children. And there are some um, standard or not so standard protocols that require, for example, uh, workload uh, some watts per kilo of weight. And uh, you have persons that come 45 kilos, 65 kilos. And if you set up this protocol, that first stage is 0 0.5 kilo uh, watts per kilo, next one watts per kilo, and so on. And the system will automatically recalculate and perform this step-by-step uh, um, -step exercise according to this you know, formula. It's uh, very interesting uh, stuff, but it works only for bicycles. And now a uh, short video again to show you some live uh, work of this software. Again, we have our person in the database. We select template here from our selection. And this is, I want to stop for, for a moment here. Uh, it's a short quiz uh, to get breath test probability of uh, uh, coronary artery disease. Uh, because uh, we will see here that when I put these symptoms uh, according to the age, uh, sex, and symptoms, for example, I see here very low ischemia probability of this particular person. What does it mean? It means that I cannot expect a positive result. I should expect maybe false positive here, and so uh, that's why I should be, as a doctor, I need to pay more attention uh, to the analysis of the data and to my final mm, conclusion. Uh, then uh, I proceed to uh, another, uh, as I selected RAMP protocol, I have different mm, options uh, how this RAMP protocol will be set up with some automatic selections. I can set up maximum workload according to the mm, person's uh, habitary exercises or just set up it manually. For me, I prefer manual stuff. And then uh, the recording starts. I, um, what I can see here, and you can see here. Again, I maybe make short stop. Uh, we can see the main window with all uh, 12 leads. On the right, uh, we can see the average curse complexes for every lead uh, with the online calculation of ST displacement and uh, slope. Uh, also, we have this uh, nice um, graphical presentation of uh, ST depression or elevation, because it is important uh, for the doctor to see not only uh, that uh, which lead uh, has uh, uh, what it is a maximum uh, deviation from the baseline, uh, but also how it corresponds to another leads uh, if they are uh, together or not together. Uh, and in the left, 
Uh, yes, uh, under the main ACG, I have this written strip and this uh, stripe, sorry. And it's, uh, it shows in more compact format and I can select leads for that. And uh, below I see the workload and actual heart rate. Uh, during the uh, exercise, I can input blood pressure data manually from the measurement or uh, start automatic measurement if the supported device is on. Uh, also, I can use some comments from the dictionary here, some standard phrases just to uh, be fast, but I can uh, also input any uh, text I want. Uh, also, I uh, can input a Borg scale. Uh, so ask a person how it feels like. Uh, next important feature that uh, will be shown, I think shortly, yeah, here. Uh, you can see also that ST segment uh, data, yes, uh, I can repeat that um, ischemia detection and ST segment analysis is one of the main reasons for most clin uh, clinicians to perform this exercise test test. And the freeze function, uh, not stopping any recording and not influencing it somehow, I can review everything that has been recorded to the moment. I can measure the CCG and I can print out this ECG. Uh, it's uh, very nice because I can, just like uh, with one eye on the current uh, recording, I can uh, find a good example of uh, ECG uh, for printing and set up everything in not hurry and show the, the result. So it can look like this. Uh, uh, mimics uh, the standard uh, printouts of any thermal printer, but it is actually uses standard printers, office printers, uh, laser or inkjets, and uh, it's easy. So uh, when I'm satisfied with this recording, uh, I can review the results. I have the um, overall review of the exercise of heart rate. I can see average curious complex for um, every five seconds of the recording. Actually, I can change this and see not for every five seconds, every 10 and every 15, that depends uh, how, how much time I have, how long I want to analyze this stuff. And important that I uh, can not only review uh, this recording, I can also perform some uh, for example, I can mark some artifacts if I not believe that it's true measurements. And if I see something interesting, I can double click on this uh, QRS and see the actual uh, ECG and then double click and come back. Uh, more or less standard window of trends. And uh, here the loops, oh, sorry again, that's uh, from video, yeah. Uh, what about loops? That's uh, maybe not so obvious feature, but it's important and I will have maybe a couple of seconds to explain why it's important. Again here. Uh, if we come back with this person and see here, uh, this blue line under the uh, baseline, uh, it usually shows that there is some ischemia, but uh, for um, our prediction, this person is not, uh, so the probability of ischemia is quite low. So why it is so? It's, and these loops, uh, I, I cannot maybe tell you in more details, but actually if it would be ischemia, the red and green lines would be in a, a different order. Uh, and here, this picture is more um, for false positive result. So even if I have a measurement of ST segment that mimics the ischemia, but I see this uh, loop result, I can uh, freely uh, add my conclusion to the report that this uh, ST displacement was not true. 
and I should not uh, send a person to some uh, hospital for uh, operation and so on. Okay, uh, I have uh, these tables and uh, I have also uh, this master, uh, some uh, tool uh, to perform a final conclusion. Uh, if this person is quite healthy, I select uh, physical performance. Some parameters are calculated automatically, something I should put manually. And um, when I'm fini uh, I finish, I, yeah, I press uh, again this report button yeah, and get a final report that has all the features, texts, tables. Again, uh, this stuff is uh, quite flexible. I can set up different configuration of uh, the final report. And uh, the last but not the least, uh, this system, uh, polyspectrum.net, in any configuration with HRV, with exercise stress test, or just ECG, it provides um, many opportunities to, for integration with uh, medical uh, software, with the uh, medical expert systems, uh, that uh, management systems uh, using HL7, DICOM, or GDT. So uh, if uh, you need this, you just uh, need to ask our staff uh, to provide you more information.